Hey, what's up, y'all? Fearsome here, and uh, we are on to level 30, Witch Doctor. And this is actually where the fools want, and you'll you'll continually see this weapon pop up. Uh, gets actually a little bit better. And it's because you get stuff like this Mojo Blast right here, uh, which you know it starts to outpace artillery and, and gunnery and you know those variants right there. So it becomes a whole lot more powerful with that, you know, eight range. I say eight. It says seven, but uh, when you count the edge, it's it's really eight. Um, but yeah, it's it's when that uh, that one becomes even more powerful. And Witch Doctor also gets another Villa armor slot in their uh, in their charm spot right here. And uh, yeah, if if um, if you just want a ton of health, a ton of protection, look, Valor Armor is it, y'all. Like, look, you have 1,100 health. You get 650 health from the Valor Armor uh, ability. So, <laughs> these are these are very prized, let's just say. Uh, these two right here, as I said before in my last video, they come from Johnny Ringo. This one right here from the manor ballroom in a group of four you'll get this to drop from a four lot group chest very easily and this one right here the um spirit walker's charm i got this from the bird with no name although i'm fairly sure it also drops from the old jail cell and tumbleweed skyway um now the spirit walker's charm uh or i should say the bird with no name is actually part of the line of quests where you get Rooster Cogburn, so it's like you're going to unlock it anyway, and it's a whole lot easier to form than the old jail cell, so yeah. Although there is no second chance chest. Uh, the other gear slots, uh, this over here and this over here, just farm any level 30 creature. Uh, I think Haunted Sky will wear a tumbleweed, and uh, get it to drop in a four lot group chest like these are pretty much the best things you can get for level 30 right here eye patch you know once again guys there's nothing really worth your time as far as eye patches go for level 30 so you know i just put the coolest looking eye patch which is by far the tiki kahuna and goes nicely with fool's mask see how the nose just pops right out yeah nah, it looks hideous y'all um uh, it's just uh my trademark so that's what makes it beautiful for the uh for the pet y'all the um the pet is best with some type of heal as always switch doctors they got that good old range now regroup great for team pvp but uh, rally is preferable for most other situations uh, for the talent side of things uh scent webs tough those are all terrific to get, and those are generally the ones I would recommend. You know, tough, once again, get an extra, you know, 50 or so health, which is still good at level 30. Not as good as it was, but still uh, fairly good. So, yeah, that's it for gear, y'all. Now you can, uh, you can start farming for all that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you my powers. Here is a, uh, well, I just unequipped this recently. Here's a fairly um, fairly good power setup for um, Team PvP 4v4. Uh, I remember when I used this last... Well, i probably put this up here, actually. When I last used this um, character for any type of competitive venue was when I was planning for a 3v3 tournament. But then I realized there would not be enough teams for it, so um, we uh, we canceled the event. But I did get to do some test matches uh, versus Rio and his buddies, uh, and uh, <laughs> let's just say Witch, Do Witch Doctor, I found was the very best class for for three v three and four v four at this level, like by far. Like you, you know, Privateer is like. Privateer and Buccaneer are, like, amazing for 3v3s at, like, level 70. And Musketeer, which Doctors are kind of, uh, eh, they're okay. Well, level level 30, they're they're the best, without a doubt. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to show you what I trained. Um, I forgot exactly what I trained, but I know I trained Ruse. I know I trained Vela Shield. 
Uh, I even trained the Witch Doctor Calm the Troops and, of course, Gunnery. So I got that from the Privateer. And, of course, I trained up to Fast 2 um, on the Swashbuckler Trainer. I'm trying to see if I trained the Hide or not. No, I didn't. I don't think I had enough points for that. But, uh, yeah, I got all the maximum points. <laughs> don't remember exactly how many off the top of my head, but I did this quite a while ago. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's what you want to train. Now, for companions, um, I didn't actually level up all the companions. I probably should have. Um, but Ratbeard, once again, if you need to hold one unit, it's great um, for that sort of thing. <laughs> I need to level mine up. Bunny Ann, um, top tier. Musket line companions are generally what I use because I use the level 30 Witch Doctor for Team PvP. Um, and farming stuff, really. Uh, Bones McGee, all these guys are terrific. Now it's interesting to notice that Carcarius Grimtooth does get an upgrade, so he's slightly better. Now there are some rare instances where this guy might be actually preferable to some of these other companions, and that's when you're faced up against a charging unit that's stacked. Because when they are stacked, having Purge is mighty nice, because it'll take all those stacks off. And I'm fairly sure which doctors don't get their purge till later on. So this is this is the only purge that you have. So here is the best setup for him. Oh, he does get a drain as well, which is a very nice, very nice indeed. Calm the troops as well. This is what I recommend setting him up with. Campo still amazing for one v ones in particular. Overall, fantastic companion. And, um, uh, yeah. Hey, y'all. That is, uh, that's it for the companions. Trying to think if there's anything else I need to add to this video for level 30 advice. Uh, but really, you know, y'all just enjoy the game wherever you are at the game. Um, you know, quest through the game, stop every now and then, make a pet, do some PvP, um, do whatever else you want to do. Farm. Um, this uh, this game's an overall around terrific experience, and um, it's great to take take a taste of everything in it. You know, it's um, generally how I feel about it. Um, but uh, but yeah, y'all have a great day and peace.